Yo guys, what's going on? This is XP Frosted VX here bringing you another X and Y narrative Wi Fi battle. This is a battle I had against Lindomar on my live stream slash off stream. What I mean by off stream is uh, during my stream, he actually ended up 5 0 ing me <laughs> because I brought some random pokes. So, game two, I decided to bring a serious team and I you know, gathered a serious team and I beat him 2-0. So this was the third game. This turned out to be the tiebreaker match and this turned out to be a really, really close game. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, during the team preview, I didn't know exactly what he was going to lead with. I was kind of thinking the Heatran tries so he could get his rocks off. So I decided to lead off with Micro Ninja. And this kind of actually turns out to be not with the case because he actually ends up leading off with the Bisharp which is just as fine as well because Greninja can actually take on Bisharp rather well as I go straight for the Skull not wanting to over predict or anything and I just go for it I do a nice clean 80% and I get the burn straight off the bat not bad at all as he decides to go for the knockoff knocking off my life orb which actually comes into play later on but you'll see soon enough so I decided to go for the U-turn because I didn't know what else to bring in because I didn't want to be predicted, switch out, and him going for the knockoff on any of my other Pokemon. So I decided to go straight for the U-turn, which he decided he actually kind of made that play. He decided to actually try to knock off another Pokemon, predicting me to switch out, predicting his Sucker Punch. Oh, that's a lot of predicting. Anyways, <laughs> he goes into his heat trade after I U-turned out into my Needle King, and I wanted to break his air balloon, so I went for the Thunderbolt as he goes for the Stealth Rocks, which is perfectly fine by me, and I decided to switch out because I'm actually Choice Scarfed, and I'm locked on Thunderbolt, and that's not doing too much damage, so I decided to pull a switch out into my Greninja, predicting him to switch as well, fearing that I'm not Choice Scarfed, and he does pull a switch out into his Garnivore, which is perfectly fine. So on the next turn, he decides to go for the Mega Evolution, go and Mega Evolve from the Mega Gardevoir. Uh, I decide to stay in and go straight for the Skull because I was predicting him to go for the HP Fire or just something of the sort because I was thinking he would predict me to go into my Scissor because it would be such an obvious play, which actually pays off because he does over predict and goes for the HP Fire, which works out entirely of my favor. And I do get the burn and I'm going for the Ice Beam now to take out, try to take out his Garnivore. And this is kind of where the Life Orb comes into play because if he didn't knock off my life orb I would have had taken out the Gardevoir but instead he ends up taking me out which is just as fine as well because Greninja did enough already and Gardevoir ends up going down to the burn so that was a double down I decided to bring out my fastest Pokemon which turns out to be my Needle King because it's Choice Scarfed as he goes out into his Landers and I should have seen this play coming he switches out of his Landers and decides to go straight into the Heatran and I was about to click Earth Power I was about to and I end up clicking the Ice Beam didn't want to over predict because that was a 50-50 shot because if I had over predicted he could have went for the Earth Power and just taken out my Needle King straight there so I didn't want to take the necessary risk so I decided to pull out a switch into my Mammal Swine, thinking he'd go for the Earth Power. It turns out he actually goes up for the Lava Plume, which does a lot of damage, but I'm able to survive it. And luckily, I don't get burned, so that was really good for me. So he decides to pull out a switch of his Heatran, because he thought I was going to go for the Earthquake, which I ended up going for my Stealth Rocks, which is good and bad at the same time, because he still has that Hitmon on top, and I don't have a Spin Blocker, so he can come in and Rapid Spin at any point in time when he sees a free opportunity. As I decide to pull a switch out to my Needle King, expecting the will he decides to go straight for the Nightshade, wanting to take out my uh, Mammal Swine straight off the bat. As I decide to get a lucky crit, Earth Power off, and it does really, really decent damage. And he hits me again with uh, Nightshade. I'm down to 39%. I can't take another one, so I decide to pull a switch out to my Dragonite, which I kind of rendered useless because I lost a multi scale ability because of the rocks. And I'm foolish enough not to run a Defogger slash uh, Rapid Spinner. <laughs> So at the same turn that he, I switched out into my Dragonite, he actually pulls a switch out into his Landers, and I decided to go straight for the Extreme Speed, thinking he'd go uh, for the HP Ice, but I was wrong. He ends up actually over-predicting me to go out to my Azumarill, so he ends up going for the Sludge Wave, and he wants to switch out because he doesn't want to take any other unnecessary damage, and I decided to go straight for the Extreme Speed again because I know this thing would be faster than me, and he could take me out with the HP Ice or another Sludge Wave at the point. He decides to go straight for the Fake Out, and it does a lot of damage, but not enough to KO me so I decide to go straight for the Dragon Claw as he goes for the Rapid Spin and he gets a Rapid Spin kill. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Anyways, uh, after I lost my Dragonite, I decided to go straight into my Scizor and he's like wondering why did I go into my Scizor? Because I was actually trying to bait out his Heatran. So he decides to go into this Heatran. I decide to go get the Mega Evolution off just in case I have to switch in onto his Landers because my Scizor is especially defensive and it could take a hit. Uh, I decide to go straight for the U-turn. Of course, it's not going to do much because he's quad resistant. And I decide to go pull a switch out into 
my mammal swine thinking I'd be faster than this Heatran because normally Heatran don't run speed investment but unfortunately because mine's is adamant his uh, Heatran turns out to be a timid nature and he actually runs speed investment on his Heatran so I lost my mammal swine for almost no reason and uh, that ice shard could have been useful but I still have a zoom roll so I go on to a zoom roll thinking he would switch out I didn't want to over predict or anything so I decided to go for the aqua jet but because I run Jolly Max Speed as Zoomeril, that is not enough to kill. He ends up going for the Lava Plume. Lucky for me, he doesn't get the burn, which I've been haxing this man, kind of. So he decided, yeah, he lost, loses his Heat Train. He decides to fodder it off as he decides to go on down into his Dust Clops. And I decided to go straight for the Play Rough here as he decides to go straight for the will o -Vest. I have nothing to take a will o -Vest. I didn't want to switch in my Needle King just in case he went for the Nightshade. I didn't want to lose my check to... Uh, his landers there either so after I eat my citrus berry I knew he was gonna go for the pain split and I go for the belly drum predicting him to go for the pain split and that's exactly what happened so I just prevented this dust class for healing a significant amount of HP which was a great play on my part and I decided to go straight for the play rough not wanting to play any games because I'm still plus three even after the burn and uh, he decides to go for um, him on top as fodder and intimidate and I decided to go straight for the waterfall, not wanting to miss at all on anything to decide to switch in. And it was a double down because my Azumarill ends up dying off to the burn. So I decided to go and pull off into my Needle King as he actually pulls the switch out into his Dust Clops. And this was a 50-50 shot. I didn't know he was going to go out into his Landers, predicting my, me to go for the Earth Power. Or uh, he'd stay in and uh, I'd earth power him. So I decided to go straight for the ice beam predicting his landers. Which actually turns out to be in vain because he didn't switch out to his landers. But lucky for me he went for the nightshade and not the pain split. Or uh, He t told me he had rest on his uh, dust clops. He, luckily for me he didn't go for the rest because I would have been in trouble if he'd have done that. And as I decided the bullet punch, I didn't have a choice. I didn't want to lo lose my Scizor to a burn. And Scizor is my last Pokemon. Bullet punch is not enough to KO. He decides to go straight for the Earth Power. And because I'm running specially defensive bulky Scizor, I'm able to take the Earth Power and take him out with the next bullet punch and win this game in a 1-0 victory in my favor. Very, very good game, Lindomar. This was a very, very awesome match. And guys, go check out his channel. I'll leave his channel in the description below. He's a pretty good YouTuber overall. Um, if you guys enjoyed this battle, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to have a chance to battle me, I'll leave some links in the description below as well. On Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. I normally stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and over the weekends. So I hope to see you guys there. And until next time, guys, XP Frosted, signing out. Later, guys.